Hey guys, welcome to the world famous Harley Davidson of Florida. My name's John and I'm here today to present you with a unique opportunity that we've brought in on trade. It's a beautiful 2013 Crusader 290 RLT fifth wheel. It's 29 feet um, living space and 31 feet overall. The gross dry weight is 8,300 pounds. This is a three slide unit and it is in wonderful condition. Let's show you some of the features and benefits. Over here you can see the large slide unit that goes into the living area. Over here we've got a small storage area for some outside activity. Okay, we've also got a very nice electronic awning that's going to come out and cover up this area so that you have nice living space outdoors. Under the awning we have two stereo speakers. We also have a three step easy entry doorway to be able to get in and we've got a safety handlebar going in and out. We have a large pass-through storage area that goes completely through the trailer. Allows you to put large tables, chairs, even fishing gear, even kayaks and things along that level. In this compartment we also have a uh, two utility switches here as well as a outlet for a cable TV in case you want to bring television outside and watch sports out here. Okay, On this side we have one uh, propane tank. We also have another propane tank on the other side. Here's your fifth, fifth wheel coupler and there's also a storage area up underneath the fifth wheel area. We have a lighting section over here so that when you're trying to do your hookup you have light Excuse me. Here we have a small slide that's coming out of the master bed area. Under that we have the second propane tank, large propane tank. Here's the other side of the pass-through storage area. You also have your utility area over here. And in your utility area you've got your fresh water hookup, you've got your sewer connection, you've got your city water connection. This has a 60 gallon fresh water tank that's, that's uh, self-contained. You've also got your um, sanitation safety uh, valves over here to be able to flush your, your uh, storage tanks. Another really nice feature on this coach is that all of the utilities are on the other side of the coach away from the living area and not underneath of the awning. So you've got your gas heater over here for, for your uh, heating unit inside. You've also got your hot water heater over on this side. Here's your hookup for, the connection is for 120 volts, 50 amp. Also notice this is a dual axle trailer, obviously. <coughs> all, all the areas are very well marked. Here's your low point drain area so that when you're trying to drain fresh water tank out, you can do that, or your sewer connection. Everything is up underneath of here and tucked up and underneath. Here's your, here's your refrigerator. Um, vent coming out of this side over here so again nothing that is generating any heat is underneath of the awning where you're going to be watching sports and having picnics and things like that. Okay you've also this is your third slide which is in the living area over here which gives a nice long uh, big space. You've also what's really nice is you've got a lot of ventilation in this in this uh, this particular fifth wheel. You've got big windows they're tinted got windows back here all the way in the back side they're all screened so it's they're easy to open and get a lot of fresh air. You've got a spare tire attachment in the back. Again you've got your cross ventilation you've got a window here and you've also got windows up and over underneath of here. Let's step inside and take a look. Okay so now we're in the living area. What's really nice is that this is a rear living area setup. As, as we talked about earlier, look at all the windows as you pan around and look at all the windows in here, you get a lot of fresh air across ventilation in this coach. You have very nice cabinetry, solid wood, these are all solid wood panels, and you've got Corian countertops. This is a utility countertop over here, you've got a, got a nice flat screen television over here. Okay, your refrigerator unit is a deluxe type model and it's a Dominic. You, uh, you can see you've got a large refrigerator and a large freezer unit with paneled front sections for really good appearance and it's going to work on electric or gas. 
Corian cooking countertops, three burner gas stove. You've also got your oven in here. If you go look, this thing is immaculately clean. It looks like it's hardly been used. The countertops are perfect. There's no nicks or scratches. You have a ventilating fan over top of the cooktop, the, uh, cooktop area. You've also got a, a nice microwave oven. And you've got lots of cabinetry in here. Deep cabinets that are, again, all solid wood that are nice and deep and easy to access with very nice hardware on the outside. You have a lot of space in this, in this uh, particular trailer for things. You've got great access over here. You've got electrical outlets to be able to put your coffee maker, um, toasters, things like that over here. You've got a nice ventilated window up here underneath the kitchen. You've got a flush countertop and you've got covers over top of this porcelain sink which is very, very nice. This can also be used, all, all of this obviously can be used for laying out food, like for a buffet if you're having a party or something along that line. You've got large drawers, lots of space to be able to store things underneath of here. Large pot and pan drawer, which is something you don't always see in these. Okay, you've also got alarm systems in here for safety. You've got a gas alarm. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got a lot of ventilation in the ceiling here for your air conditioning units. These are all directional. You can move them around so that you can change the flow of wherever it's going to the air is going to go. Have a very nice tabletop here with four chairs, with adequate room that you can actually sit four people and you can enjoy dining. You have two very nice swiveling chairs here that have access to the television. Again, a Corian counter center table, large screen windows so that you get lots of uh, ventilation. Area is very well lit with uh, bright lights. This is going to be um, a bed. This is a fold-out bed if you want to turn it into additional sleeping facility. This this uh, this particular unit will easily sleep five people. Okay, uh, and you've also got very nice carpet here, and in the center here you've got uh, vinyl, vinyl tiling, flooring that is very easy to clean, that goes all the way out to the front door, so it's very easy to sweep and uh, keep this area clean. This is your control panel right here. You've got all your fuses in line, very easy to access, and all your switches here for your electrical units. Okay, again, you've got power outlets down here, and this is heating. Those are heat ducts down here on the floor. What's really nice, it warms the floor as well as bringing the heat up to you. Okay, now we're going to head over here towards the master bedroom. You've got small window here for some ventilation. Again, it's screen. You've got, nice, you've got a nice window over here on the side. Queen size bed, RV queen size bed. Okay, it's got an antenna right over here for the television units. Two air conditioning ducts over here so that you got plenty of AC going through. You have a deep and large wardrobe closet to store plenty of clothes over here. If you look next to the bed, you actually have a Corian top little end table over there with a uh, power outlet so that you can put a lamp, you can put um, alarm clocks. You've also got a radio and a, um, a CD player over on the side there. Here's another large wardrobe for hanging clothes. You have large drawers down up underneath to be able to put folded clothes. This is just another hanging area. Separate one over here where you can put jackets. Again, a small over here, which is generally going to be used for, like um, for linens and for your um, shower. This is all on a slide. This whole section slides out. You've also got a nice flat top TV or flat screen TV over here. You have your heat registers in the floor so that you're going to have heat coming down from the floor and warming up. Got a nice ventilation system up over top here. And each one of these vents um, have uh, max covers over top of them, so 
You can open them completely in inclement weather. You have stereo speaker, two stereo speakers here in the in the bedroom area, and you've also got very nice lighting up and underneath, and you have lighting up and underneath over top of the head of the bed for reading. Okay, what's really nice in this bathroom is it's actually got a dual access point to the bathroom. There's a sliding door over here from the master bed. So if you want to be able to lock this door over here, you can lock it so that you have privacy to shower and all the rest of it. Then where you can close this and open up so anybody can use it. You have a large stand-up glass shower stall in here, which is very nice. It's got a skylight over top of the shower stall, as well as having lighting over here. Okay, you've got a powered fan uh, outlet right up top here, vent, ventilation system, again with a max air over top of it. You can close the sliding door. You have a medicine cabinet. You can put some toiletries and things like that in there with a light over top. You've got a power outlet here so that you have an opportunity to, for uh, electric razors. And over here you've got an indicator that's a monitor for all of your tanks for your gray water tank, your black water tank, and your fresh water, as well as a battery indicator. So you can see how your batteries, what kind of condition your batteries are in. And your master pump switch is right here, so that you can create water pressure if you're not hooked up to city water. It's got a nice uh, Domitic uh, commode with a foot pump, and uh, very solid walls, and a nice uh, towel hanger over here. So in conclusion, this is a very, very nice unit. It is in wonderful condition. It has been very, very well maintained. Uh, the tires are in wonderful condition. This is a great value. Uh, we would love to have an opportunity to show this to you. So if you have any questions or inquiries about this whatsoever, please call our Brandon location at 813-740-9898. Uh, and we'd, be, we'd love to have an opportunity to show this to you.